Welcome back to the frenzy. East Pennsboro has had this day circled for a while as the Panthers will kick off their 1000th game. Standing in front of them is Gettysburg. Now a lot of former East Penn players showed up to this one to root on the current Panthers. Keith Otis dropping back and finds Trey good over the middle. I met Trey's grandmother before the game. She said he's having a great year. Uh, he is and he's adding to it, giving East Penn the early lead. Gettysburg though came to play in the second quarter. Preston Burnett is going to take the rock and head right up the gut. He is eventually going to be ruled down at the one yard line, but that would set up a short Warriors touchdown run. So we are tied. East Pennsboro answering in a very big way. Otis rolling right and looks deep for who else? Trey Good. We should really hire his grandmother as an analyst for the frenzy. Good's going to take it in to make it 14 7. Otis finishes with five touchdowns. 347 passing yards on just 10 completions. They win their 1,000th game. East Penn picking up the W 42 to 24. Well, from East Penn's bro to Eastern York, the Golden Knights hosting Kennerdale. Eastern wants the deep ball, but a nice defensive play by Noah Tarbert batting this one away. Rams on offense now, and Ryan Green's going to take the rock, and he'll find pay dirt for the first points on the board. Eastern York learned their lesson from last time. Quinn Bramble this time looking for a dart over the middle, and he will find Ethan Scrignoli lunging for the end zone there. You got to love the effort. The hometown fans certainly do. But after throwing short last time, Bramble, he's ready to grip it and rip it again. This time he is on the money. Jonathan Rowe is coming down with it for the first time in program history. Eastern York is 4-0 after the 26-20 win. Oh, well done, Golden Knights. Not every game waited until Friday. There were a handful of games that kicked off under Thursday night lights, including the High School Sports Live broadcast on Fox 43.2 that featured Cedarcliff against Hershey. Let's check out some of the action from that one. The Colts were hoping to improve to 4-0 at Hershey Park Stadium. Pick it up, tied at 7. The Colts' Bennett Seacrest finds Owen Anastasi, just when you think that's what they do to take the lead into the half, uh, they're not done yet. Nathan Lusk then on defense with the pick, and he's not done yet with it. He takes it, grabs it around the 35, makes a move to the left sideline, and there he goes. He's going to cross the goal line for what you call a pick six. Cedar Cliff takes this thing on the road. Your final score there was 41 to 21. Now the high school sports live crew has already turned their attention to next week's game. So it's back to Friday nights as Harrisburg heads over to Cumberland Valley. The 7 p.m. kick can be seen on Fox 43.2 as well as Fox 43 plus. And of course, we'll have a recap of all the action on the frenzy. Here is a programming note to keep in mind. Our frenzy highlight show is every week at 11 p.m. Of course, you're watching it. We have a full recap of all the action taking place on the high school gridiron tonight. But don't forget all the scores, big plays, highlights are available Saturday mornings at 9.30 a.m. streaming on Fox 43 plus. So let your friends and relatives know to set that alarm or take a look and watch the entire program. When